Hi everyone, welcome to lesson number eight. This is a game that I call Goldfish Tag. I think you're gonna like this one a lot. Hey, I'm already on the Scratch website, scratch.mit.edu. I'm gonna click the Create button because we're gonna create a brand new game today, a game called Goldfish Tag. So I'm going to get rid of the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. I'm also going to get rid of the cat, so I'm going to garbage can the cat. So goodbye to the cat. And I'm going to get a brand new sprite today. Hey, when it's your turn, you can choose whatever sprite you want. But for me, for today, I'm going to choose the fishbowl. Where's the fishbowl? It's here somewhere. There it is right there, the fishbowl. So I'm going to double click that. Wonderful. So for today's game, what we're going to do is we're going to make the fishbowl glide all over the place to random spots. And the game is you got to tag the fishbowl as many times as you can. It's kind of fun. So watch how I do that. When the green flag is set, I'm just going to drag that over. I'm going to make it a little bit larger so you can see. Uh, I'm going to have the goldfish bowl start in the center of the screen again. So go to zero, zero. So right there. Go to zero, zero. You can have yours start when it's your turn to code, wherever you want. I'm going to make mine start in the middle. Go to zero, zero. Then I'm going to make my goldfish bowl glide to a random position. See that? To a random position right there. And to do this forever. So forever glide to a random position. Wonderful. So green flag. Let's just double check that that's working. Great. Nicely done. Wonderful. Now we're going to have points in our game. So every time you click the goldfish bowl you get some points so i'm going to go to the variables button right over there variables i'm going to click make a variable because we're going to make our points there make a variable and i'm going to call this goldfish points goldfish points there we go and click ok wonderful so i've got my goldfish points up there i like it up there you can move it to wherever you want when it's your turn so now we're going to set the goldfish points to uh, start at zero when the game begins. So I'm going to get another green flag. When the green flag is clicked, set goldfish points to zero. So set goldfish points to zero. Perfect. Now look what we're going to do. Every time you click this goldfish, you get a point. So there's this new uh, piece of code we haven't used yet. I think it's under the events button right there, events. See, it's this one. When this sprite is clicked right there. When this sprite is clicked, I'm just going to move this over a bit. Now I'll move it down so you can see. When this sprite is clicked, so we're on the goldfish bowl. When the goldfish bowl sprite is clicked, I'm going to go to the variables. Change goldfish points by one. So that means whenever you click this goldfish, you should get a point. Perfect. See, it's working. Every time I click the goldfish, I get a point. But when you press the green flag and it starts moving around, it gets hard to click it. So that's the game. You're going to try to click this as many times as you can. So I'm just going to pause there. Teachers, if you don't mind pausing in a moment while the students go to Scratch, they're going to click Create. They're going to get rid of the tutorial. They're going to get rid of the cat. They're going to choose whatever sprite they want. I chose the goldfish bowl. They can choose whichever one they want. Then students pick a place for your goldfish bowl to start. Make it glide to a random place forever. Create some points. I called mine goldfish points. And I set the points to zero whenever I hit the green flag. And then there's this new piece of code. When this sprite is clicked. And that's under the events button. And when you click the sprite, the goldfish bowl sprite, Change points by one. So teachers, if you don't mind pausing here and students get to work when you're ready, I'll be here waiting for you. All right, welcome back. I hope that's going well for you. Hey, I'm just going to uh, make my game look a little bit better. So I'm going to go and get a nice background. So I'm going to click down here, choose a backdrop because it's kind of a plain white backdrop and that's kind of boring looking. The backdrop I like for this game and you can choose when it's your turn, whichever one you want. I'm going to choose rays. I think that's kind of neat. And when you hit the green flag, it, the goldfish starts in the center there. Now, there's a problem so far in this game. This game is never ending. It goes forever. So you could get points forever. You could be playing this till next week if you wanted to. I feel like it's probably better if we have the game end at a certain point. And so watch what I'm going to do. Instead of playing forever, I'm just going to do a repeat instead. So I'm going to pull this down and take the glide out. And instead of going forever, 
I'm going to make it hop go uh, 10 times. So you get 10 chances. It's going to glide 10 times. And then you can see how many times you can click the goldfish bowl. So there's zero points. I'm going to try to click it as many times as I can. It's got 10 times. Whoa, man. There we go. Come on. I'm not too bad. See, now look, the game is over. We repeat it 10 times, but I can still cl keep clicking it. That's not good. It should stop when um, the game stops. I can continue clicking forever and get lots of points. Well, look what we're going to do instead. After it repeats itself 10 times, then I'm going to have the goldfish bowl hide. So I'm going to go to the looks button and I'm going to press hide. So there we go. Let's try again. Ready? Green flag. So the goldfish bowl is going to glide 10 times. I'm going to try to get as many points as I can. There we go. Come on. Now it's hiding. And I can't click anywhere and get extra points. So you can't do that little cheat there. No more points. The game is pretty much over because you can't get any more points. But there's still another problem. Look, when I hit the green flag, the goldfish bowl is still hiding. So anytime you use the word hide or the piece of code hide, you have to put a show in there as well. So I'm going to grab the show and I'm just going to put it right there. Uh, when the green flag is clicked, show yourself, go to zero, zero, repeat 10 times, and then hide after that. So, perfect. So students, can you go get a nice backdrop that works with your game? And then set it up so that instead of going forever, that you repeat only 10 times or 20 times or however many you like. Um, and then after it's done its repeats, the goldfish bowl should hide. But whenever you put a hide in there, you got to put a show. So green flag show, repeat 10 times, hide. So teachers, if you don't mind pausing there and students, when you're ready to go for the next part, I'll be waiting right here. All right, welcome back. Well, hey, anybody coming to play your game? They wouldn't really know what to do. There's no explanation. We always try to explain the game at the beginning. So I'm going to do it a little differently today. I think you're, you might like this one. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get a different sprite to explain how to play. And the one I want for today, and you can choose whatever what you want when it's your turn. But I'm going to choose the centaur right there. I kind of like this character. It's kind of neat. So I'm going to have the centaur explain how to play this game. Um, and I'm going to have him stand over here for some reason today. I like that one. But look what I'm going to do. He's facing the wrong direction. I'm going to go to the costumes. Um, and I like this one where he has his hands on his hips like that. But I wish he was facing the other direction. Well, you can, you can turn him easily. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the flip horizontal button right there. I'm going to flip him around like that. You could even flip him vertically if you wanted. Although I don't want him for that for today to do that. So I just flipped him horizontally. So I went to the costume of the centaur that I liked. There's a whole bunch of them. And the one I wanted was there. Oh, that's a good one too. I think I'll stick with that one. And I just flipped it horizontally to get him to go in a direction that I wanted him to. So I'm going to go back to the code. I'm going to shrink him just a little bit. He's kind of large for my game. I'm going to make him 80%. Perfect. And I'm just going to tuck him right into the corner. Now I'm going to have the centaur explain how to play the game. So events green flag he's going to do some talking now so it's going to say stuff like this hello welcome to goldfish tag and i'll have him say that for maybe four seconds so people have time to read it wonderful then i'm going to have him say something else um explaining what to do when you see the gold fish bowl click on it as many times as you can and I'm gonna have him say that for five seconds because that's a lot of reading right there perfect and then I'm gonna have him do one last thing he's gonna say ready set and go perfect so he'll do that for three seconds maybe perfect so could you please um, go and get another sprite I chose the centaur I chose the costume of the centaur that I wanted I, and I even flipped him around and put him away in the corner over here let's see how this looks ready perfect so see that he's talking hello welcome to goldfish tag 
When you see the goldfish bowl, click on it as many times as you can. And ready, set, go. So, your job now to get another character to explain how to play. Teachers, if you want to pause it here. And when you're ready to go to the next part, I'll be waiting. All right, welcome back. Um, hey, there's a little glitch in my game, and it wasn't the spelling mistake, which I fixed. Um, but look what happens. So the centaur is talking and explaining. The goldfish bowl is moving around. I'm not even actually reading this because I'm too busy looking at the goldfish bowl. So we need to fix that. So look what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, first of all, make the centaur hide after he gives his instructions because he just remains there the whole time. I don't like that. So we've got to make him hide. So I'm going to go to the looks button. I'm going to uh, have the centaur show when the green flag is clicked. Then he's going to do his talking, and then he's going to hide. So let's just double check to make sure that works. So he's talking, talking, talking. Come on, centaur. Here we go. And perfect. The centaur hides. So it's going to stop for a moment. Now, how long does he talk for? Four and five is nine, 10, 11, 12. So he talks for 12 seconds. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the goldfish bowl. I'm going to have the goldfish wait for 12 seconds before he shows himself. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to get another hide. So the goldfish bowl, when the green flag is clicked, is going to hide. I'm going to pull that down. Perfect. So when the green flag is clicked, the goldfish bowl hides. Now he's going to wait for 12 seconds. And the wait is there under the control. Wait for 12 seconds. Great. And then he's going to show himself. And then he's going to go to zero, zero. Then he's going to repeat it 10 times and glide and then hide. So our game's looking pretty good so far. So um, I made my centaur show himself at the beginning. But after he did his talking, which took 12 seconds altogether, the centaur went into hiding. He hid. Now the goldfish bowl... He's going to hide, wait 12 seconds, then show himself before he starts gliding all around to a random position. And you know what? I think my goldfish bowl for me glides too fast. I'm going to make him glide for 1.5 just to make it a bit easier because I'm using a touchpad. It's kind of hard to do that. So there's that. Teachers, we're going to pause here. Students, go ahead and make things show and hide and give instructions. And when you're ready, I'll be here for the next part. All right, welcome back. Hey, we're almost done. I hope you're enjoying this one. Goldfish tag. It's a, it's a great game. So now look what I'm going to do. Um, first of all, look at my code. It's all messy. It's all overlapping like that. Coders hate that. So I'm just going to clean everything up. Look how I'm, what I'm going to do to do that. I'm going to put my mouse pointer on some of the white workspace here. I'm going to put two fingers on the touchpad, or if I'm using a mouse, right click, and I'm going to clean up the blocks. Okay, look at that. Clean up blocks. And now the computer organized it really nice and neatly. So if it's all messed up like this, because sometimes that happens, you know, you're busy working and it gets all messy, just go to a white space, right click and clean up the blocks and Scratch will organize everything for you nice and neatly. So now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the goldfish down here. Don't click the garbage can. Hey, if you ever did click the garbage can and you lost all your work, you can press Control Z and it'll bring it all back. Or you can go to edit and click restore sprite and it'll come back. So restore sprite if you accidentally lose your work. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to go to the goldfish bowl. I'm going to put two fingers in the touchpad or right click it and I'm going to duplicate the goldfish bowl. So now we've got two goldfish bowls um, going around randomly. And so your job is to click them as many times as you can. Hey, to make it a bit more interesting and more difficult, you can shrink the size of the goldfish bowls because they're pretty big right now. Okay, they're very large. See, I'm getting points. Okay, and it's going kind of slowly, so it's kind of easy. I'm going to make my goldfish bowl, instead of 110%, I'm going to make it uh, 60%. Now, look, this is a much more difficult game. I'm going to go to this goldfish bowl and make this one 60%. So now this is a tough game to, to, to win because the goldfish bowl are really slow. If you, uh, I mean really small. If you want to make the game faster, click the glide 0 0.5 or 1 and you can change the repeats. 
So there we go. So far, so good. Hey, we're just going to add a bit of music to the game because most games have music. So I'm just going to put the code on the centaur uh, just for fun. I'm going to um, go and get a sound that's going to play during the game. So I'm going to the sounds button. I'm going to go down here and click a choose a new sound. And again, I'm going to go to the loops because there's a whole bunch of good songs on loops. And the one I want, and you can choose whichever one you want, of course, but the one I want is Drip Drop. It kind of goes with my game. So I'm going to click Drip Drop. Wonderful. I'm going to go back to code. And here I am on the Centaur. I could put this music on the Goldfish ones too, but I'm just going to put it on the, the Centaur. We don't have much code here, and it's easily organized. So green flag. Okay. When the green flag is clicked, I'll go to the sounds. Play song drip drop until done and then do that forever. So control forever. So play sound drip drop forever until done. Ready? Green flag. Okay, good. Oh, you know what? I don't like the music playing while the centaur is talking. So I'm just going to make the music wait. So I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to get wait. Oh, right there. Wait 12 seconds. And after 12 seconds, then start playing the music, okay? So green flag. My centaur is explaining how to play. He's talking for 12 seconds. The goldfish are waiting for 12 seconds. The music is waiting for 12 seconds. Perfect. And now everything starts together. And they're going to repeat 10 times. And your job is to click the goldfish as many times as you can. could set it up so that when one of these goldfish, and I don't know which one you can choose, if you click one of these by accident, you lose a point. So maybe this one, when you click on it, points change by one. This one, when you click on it, points change by negative one. So I'm going to go to goldfish bowl two. So when this gold sprite is clicked, change points by negative one. That'll make the game even more difficult and more fun because it'll be hard to keep track of which one is which. So, students, I think we're done. I hope you enjoyed Goldfish Tag, and I'm looking forward to seeing you for the next lesson. You're going to like this one a lot. It's a scrolling game. It's called Super Scroller. So, I will see you next time. Teachers, thank you, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.